All right, so uh, this is a bit different. I've never really done an unboxing video before. Uh, I hope that this setup is decent enough for it. Uh, I've put a lot of effort into actually setting everything up. And uh, yeah, what we're gonna unbox today is the Dell XPS 15. And I'm basically gonna unbox this and then I'm gonna install Linux on it. That's gonna be what this video will be about. I will use this to replace my current main machine, which is the 2018 uh, MacBook Pro, which if you know anything about the MacBook Pro from 2018, you know that it has those like crazy problems with overheating and like throttling and all that stuff. That's kind of the reason I've been wanting to switch and I also want to switch because I want to try Linux like full on. All right, I suck at unboxing things, I think. All right, so this is the Dell box. I'm guessing that if you're watching this video, you've probably seen this unboxing before. And the version that I got was the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take a look because I don't actually know myself. Uh, the version that I got was the 10th generation Intel Core i7. And uh, it is the six core one. It goes up to five gigahertz. And then I also got the thir or 32 gigabytes of RAM. That's one of those things that I think is fairly important for a programmer is to have a lot of RAM because you'll usually, at least me, I'll probably be building some apps and stuff. So I'll probably be running a virtual machine or like, yeah, an emulator of a phone or something like that on this device. Also be coding that out. Also, I'll be probably running Google Chrome or something like that in the background. And then I also have one terabyte of storage. And uh, that's kind of the, the specs, I guess, the 4K Ultra HD, like the, the 4K monitor is what I got for it. So I think it has like touch, which I'm not super like fussy about. That's just one of those things that I kind of, I want a high quality screen and 4K is a good high quality screen. All right, so that's the laptop. It's pretty heavy, I have to say. Then we get the cords for the power, get one of these uh, little adapters or dongles for HDMI and USB A, I think it's called. Don't ask me. And then we have the power supply for the actual laptop. It's also quite cool that they have like this thing attaches with a like magnet, which is pretty cool. And now let's open up the actual laptop. All right, there we go. It's open. One of the reasons that I got this particular computer is I've been looking like going back and forth between a couple of different ones. And the main two ones that I've been cho choosing between is this 15 inch Dell XPS and the ThinkPad 1X Carbon, which is a 14 inch laptop. And uh, the reason that I went with this one is mainly because of the massive screen that it has and also the quality of the screen that it has because one of the things that I'll be doing and one of the things that's really important for me as a programmer is to be able to have several different windows up at one time. And a big screen is just really important for me in that respect because that way I can have several different windows open and I'll be coding something out in one window and I'll probably have like Stack Overflow in some other window and maybe even a terminal in a third window. So screen real estate really is super important for me and the Dell XPS is probably the biggest screen, like the 15 inch version is probably the biggest 15 inch screen that you can get. But the only thing is that it's, as far as I understand it, it gets kind of hot on the, especially on around the keys. And one of the main things that I want to use my laptop for is actually having it on my lap when I'm coding. Uh, so having it be like a portable device. And it feels like if this gets too hot, then I might have to just return it and switch to a ThinkPad because that's one of the 
allure, so I guess, with a laptop for me, it's just being able to take it anywhere and just have it on my lap and just get to coding and doing whatever I need to do. But one of the negatives with the ThinkPad 1X Carbon is that the screen is not as big and it's not even like, the, the size of the laptop is 14 inches and the screen on that is not even like as wide as this one because it doesn't cover the whole 14 inches. It actually has like a little bezel on the bottom and I think it has one on the top that's bigger than this one as well, probably on the sides as well. And also the, the color accuracy, as far as I understand it, the brightness of the screen and the color accuracy of the ThinkPad 1X Carbon is not anywhere near as good as the Dell XPS. And the keyboard on the Dell XPS seems to be good as far as I understood it from reviewers. And to me right now, just typing on it, I'm not sure. I have to probably type on it a little bit more to actually give a full decision on that. Let's start it up and just see what we get. I might do a dual boot because one of the things that I also do because I do YouTube is a lot of like photo editing, mainly photo editing. I don't really do uh, video editing. I would do that on my main machine. And I also have a video editor, Martin Bull, uh, which is doing a great job with all of my videos. So I don't really do much video editing, editing anymore. And um, that's why I don't really need a laptop for video editing specifically, but I do need one for photo editing. So for that reason, I'll be using like Adobe and that sort of stuff. So I probably will need Windows. So I might have to do a dual boot. Okay, so now we've got it set up and uh, we can actually see the screen and the screen looks really, really good, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, let's just open up and plug this in so that it doesn't die on us while we're doing all this. I feel like I'm like the worst unboxer. I feel like I miss all the things that I should say. Oh yeah, actually, while I'm talking about it, let's see, I, d I don't, I didn't notice anything with the trackpad. So maybe, maybe this is something that they've fixed now when they send out new uh, Dells or the, the 15 inch model. There's supposed to be this thing, this issue with them where the trackpad kind of clicks on its own but I don't seem to have any of those issues. So that's good. That was one of the worries that I had. I was like, I was pretty much thinking that if I get one that has that issue, then I'll just send it back and get maybe a ThinkPad or something. Now let's take all of this out. All right, so it's charging now and uh, we can move on with the rest of this video. Let's remove the knife because I feel like that kind of looks hostile. But the screen is really good and that's exactly what I was hoping for, just to have all of this space here to do whatever I wanna do. Yeah, because you could have like one command prompt up like that. You could have stack overflow as like a side window that you can use to get some to find answers to the questions that you run into. You could have a terminal window, you could have a second terminal window or a code or text editor of some kind. All right, so Windows is running. Now the next thing that I need to do is I need to actually install Linux on this. I know that this uh, laptop comes with uh, Ubuntu. You can get it with Ubuntu already installed. So it should be compatible with Linux. It shouldn't be a problem to actually install it. And the first one that I wanna try is Arch Linux because that's like the most bare bones one that you can get where you can customize it to be exactly how you want it. As far as I understand it, that's the most bare bones one that you can get. But as far as I understand it, it's also one of those things like installing Arch Linux is one of those things that a lot of people say that you, sh you do that and then a lot of the problems that you run into will also teach you about that system. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to do it, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm really happy with this. It feels like it's quite big and quite heavy. This is the 2018 15 inch MacBook Pro. And I'm just gonna line it up so that you can see the difference in size between these two. The height of the Dell this way is not as big as the, the MacBook Pro 15. Slightly less wide as well, but it's not a big difference. I'm not sure which one's heavier. 
they're either like very, very close or the MacBook Pro 15 is like a little bit heavier. Let's try to install Linux now and see if we can do that. Actually, you know what? Let's not install Linux in this way. Let's do it in just like a vlog type of format because I think this might take a, lot, a long time to actually do uh, with all the stuff that I'll be having to read about it before I actually do it. So um, yeah, we're gonna stop this now and then we're gonna go to a vlog setup. All right, so here we have the USB drive with a couple of different Linux uh, distributions installed on it. I'm just gonna basically set this up, put on some Rick and Morty, and then we're gonna try to see if we can install this and get it to work. All right, so I basically stayed up until 4 a.m. last night trying to install Arch Linux and just Linux in general. And the thing was that I started trying to install Arch Linux at around 2 p.m. And at 2 a.m. I decided that it's just not worth it. I was basically running into errors all the way, like every step of the way was like an error that took me two hours to fix. So as soon as I started it, there was an error with the installation. I had to fix something there. And I, I don't understand it well enough to kind of know all of these bugs beforehand. And that means that it took me ages to solve all the different errors that I ran into. And that just after like at 2 a.m., I basically decided that it's just not worth it. It's too much effort and I don't understand this well enough to actually for it to be worth it. So at 2 a.m. I decided that I'm gonna try to install X Ubuntu instead because I know that that's kind of an easier Linux distribution to install. So I decided that, you know what, I'm gonna try that and it was super quick. There was no errors at all. It just worked straight away. Uh, so right now we've got X Ubuntu running on this machine. And basically I think that I'm gonna start out with X Ubuntu and basically learn a little bit more about Linux because I was just, not at all at the level that I would need to be to be able to understand the different error message that me messages that I got. It was just like, it was very difficult for me to debug it because I didn't understand what was happening. I didn't understand the commands that I was doing. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna run it on this machine and learn a little bit more about Linux in general so that I kind of understand it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna try Arch Linux at some point because the thing that really appeals to me and one of the things that's really good about Arch Linux is the fact that it's really bare bones. So you don't get any of that bloatware that you'd get with something like uh, like Windows, for instance. You get a lot of different programs in Windows that you don't actually ever use. And that's one of the appeals and uh, things about Arch Linux that a lot of people like. The fact that you just install the things that you actually use. So that's something that really appeals to me as well. So one thing that I also want to do is I want to create a USB drive with a couple different live distros like Kali Linux and Tails and maybe Arch Linux as well. I'm not sure if you can do it with Arch Linux or how that kind of works. Uh, but I know that Kali Linux is one of those distros that you basically tend to live boot into. It's not usually one that you keep as the main distro on your device. So. That's one that I want to try because that's the one that Mr. Robot uses. So, and it has a couple of different, or a lot of different pre-installed tools for hacking type stuff, uh, which is something that I want to get into a little bit more. So I'm going to try a different couple of different distros out and see what I like and what I don't like and kind of learn as I go about this. And then hopefully in the future, we'll get to some point where I'll understand it a little bit better. Uh, right now I'm feeling like I'm just rambling. So uh, I'm probably going to cut it off right here. And let me know if you like this video and if you want to see more like this. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing one with the, another laptop as well in the future. And I'll probably be doing more videos like this with Linux in the future as well. Uh, all right, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.